Good morning. So it is Sunday, the 1st of August. And I am actually getting ready to go out. It is actually two days after my second COVID jab. I technically will be fully vaccinated in like two weeks. So that's all good. Uh, we're having mince pie. Mince, oh my. Uh, I mean, chef, it's pie for dinner tonight. So I need to run out and get some ingredients uh, before I can stop cooking. I'm going to fry it. I'm going to start making the mince, etc. Uh, and then ha, 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 I'll do the mashed potato and everything when they get back. Um, well, when they start getting back so that it can sit in the oven and be cooked whenever, actually. I'm going to grab the ingredients and then I will start cooking at like half past two. It's now 3.15 and I have showered. I went to the shop. I had to walk to the shop because dad took my car. Fine, I like walking anyway. Got everything I needed from the shop. Have cooked dinner. The baby is here. I haven't done as much as I'd like to get done today, but that's fine. And uh, now we're just waiting for dinner in the oven. And then I'm gonna add the cheese, another 10 minutes, and then it'll be dinner time. Yeah, I know you heard the word cheese. Cheese, cheese, cheese. He likes cheese. Add to mouth. <sighs> My arm still aches a little bit, but that's kind of what it is. I'm just hoping that I don't end up like last time and then in a couple of days I end up like really sick. But we will see. If I do, I do, and we'll handle it and Dad will probably look after him. But you never know. I did promise Mr. Mr. that he could go to to get his treat of Harry Potter. Um, so we might do that tomorrow or Thursday. I haven't really decided. Anyway, my arm's starting to wake. I am going to, I am going to go and play with this one, put some TV on, and we will see you after dinner. Probably at mom's house, because I still have to pack up all my stuff. I did the vlog for Wednesday and do the dishes etc so we are back at mum's house like I said we would be I am watching Harry Potter while I try and edit the video has been a little bit odd but then I freaked out on me before so I have to pre-sort it we are going to go to West Midlands tomorrow to pick up Nathan's Haribo pick and mix as his promise as he has done his whole trap thing. I will show you that tomorrow morning. Oh. And I promised him and this week is better pay week for me. So it's easier to go this week than go any other week. Me and Nathan are going to go on our own. Mum's going to stay here. Dad's going to stay here. Dad's going to help Mum do some tiling at this end. I have other stuff I need to do at the other end, which I can do over Tuesday and next weekend. And yeah, that's it for today. So I'll see you in a minute and tomorrow. last clip you just saw, there was music playing. No, there was, I don't know anymore. 
Um, I, anyway, I said I was going to fill you in and I looked pissed. No, there was music playing and I put graphic. <sighs> you know, I've had my COVID jab, my second dose, so I'm technically fully vaccinated. It takes up to two weeks to be completely. So as of this Friday, I'm a week in, um, but technically I'm fully vaccinated. So this arm still, it's, it doesn't hurt unless you poke at it. Like I can feel just here, there's a like, slight hard lump where I got injected. I don't think you can actually tell, but it's there. Um, you can't really tell in person either, thankfully, but I can feel it and it's still a little bit tender. Well, since Sunday, my mother has continuously poked at it. And to be fair, Nathan has too, but he hasn't meant to. Whereas mum's doing it because I've said ow and she thinks it's a way of getting me to do something. Now I've been doing these things anyway, but with my arm already being tender and her poking it, it's wound me up a little bit. Well, last time I had my COVID jab, several, well, four to five days later, I felt really sick and to be a bit TMI, I was in the bathroom being sick and I felt very much like I had a 24 hour virus thing. Was fine after 24 hours, perfectly fine, but it was it was sadly related. It's one of those one in a hundred, one in a, you know, a thousand um, likely symptoms, uncommon symptoms. I happened to get it. When I told the doctor for my second one, she said, great, well, if you're still happy to get it, great but just be aware that this time around it's likely you're going to end up feeling unwell again and i was like okay fine yeah don't worry about it just jab me <laughs> wasn't bothered about feeling unwell or anything i knew what to expect i knew i was gonna feel a bit nauseous and for 24 hours really not feel great <sighs> so yesterday i went out with nathan you've already seen that vlog because uh, honestly i think i'm gonna do this as a separate vlog so it doesn't ruin the good of that because it was a really good day me and nathan had me and him time it was the first trip of the summer holiday and uh we went to the west midlands outlet because designer outlet because it's like about an hour from us it's in cannock and um and i just thought you know what it's the nearest place that is the only place that i know of that has a haribo store where he can get pick a mix and he can get his favorite sort of haribo sweets um nathan doesn't get sweets that often he gets crisps and chocolate a little bit more than he should and we are cutting back on that in general in our house uh and pop as well we're cutting on the amount of pop i mean i try and have you know two at most maybe three um but we're all cutting back on that at this house and my mom's house and so I took him there because I told him, well, if you get this many every week for the next three weeks, I think it was, you may have, we'll go and we'll do pick a mix. Well, he actually did four weeks. He did a month. He didn't complain that I forgot. He brought it up last week and I said, okay, we'll go. So yesterday we went, just me and him to have some alone time and as you saw we, we went into Haribo and we did a big drive and I so, showed you a clip of him rocking in the car seat because that's his way of dancing in the car and we went and ate at a new restaurant there I don't know how long it's been there but it's called Slim's Chicken I'll leave the logo up here really good if you're near Slim's Chicken I would and you like sort of KFC and that sort of thing 100% would recommend it go try it out and had a really good day that evening started to feel a little nauseous and my stomach was feeling a bit odd and i have stomach issues anyway and so i was a bit like oh okay this sort of happened last time i put it down to it being my stomach nathan also wasn't feeling too good and my dad hadn't felt too good so i kind of considered it possibly just being something we'd all eaten or we've come in contact with something all at the same time it's possible nathan went bed early i went bed early did some cleaning <sighs> cut to this morning and i woke up feeling like crap i have a little bit of makeup on but in i have some 
mascara, some eyeshadow, and I put clear eyebrow gel on. That's all I've put on today. So I actually look pretty much okay, but I'm running quite warm. And yesterday I was normal, completely normal temperature when I took my temperature and when I uh, felt my forehead. Now when I touch my forehead, I am running a little bit warm. Uh, and then when I took my temperature, I was I 39.5. So I'm still not quite at fever level, but I'm, I'm up there. And me and Nathan, Nathan has been jumping on me a little bit this morning and at one point he was jumping on my stomach so much I didn't really think I was going to be sick. And we've been relaxing in bed and just watching TV. Nathan decided, because I wasn't eating breakfast because I didn't feel like it, I didn't feel very hungry, and to be honest, I didn't want to eat and throw up. Nathan made the decision he didn't want to eat. So we go out and there's traffic and roadworks and things like that. And I feel nauseous as hell. I'm starting to get a headache. The lights hurt. And people are driving like idiots because there's roadworks. And everyone just wants to go. And I get that. We park up. Mum gets grumpy about me. You know, about, you know, whatever. And I say, look, I really don't feel good. I feel really nauseous. And sadly, my mother did the whole, well, I don't feel great either. Now, my mother tends to do this. Dad isn't feeling well. She doesn't feel well. If Nathan feels unwell, she feels unwell. If we, I feel unwell, she feels unwell. And it's got to a point where really I just don't announce that I don't feel good unless I'm being physically sick or I'm stuck in the bathroom. I don't normally say anything, but it was sort of getting to the point where I'm, I can feel bowel running up and down, sort of my esophagus, and that's not fun, that's not great, and plus that with a headache, I felt really crappy. Well, she then, I don't say anything, I don't sympathise with her, and she gets angry, and slams the car door, goes and does shopping. Nathan wouldn't eat for her, so when she gets in the car, she basically tells him, oh, well, I'm not feeding you till lunchtime. And I was pissed at her for that. I'm not going to lie. You don't, you're upset with me. You don't then take that out on Nathan. <sighs> so when we get back, oh, so she does all what she wants to do. When we get back, uh, she basically says, go back to your dad's. If you're feeling that unwell, and I do, like, I don't feel great, go back to your dad's. And I, I wasn't willing to leave Nathan there with her like that. And so I stayed. I was there till about half past one, two o'clock, which is way later. I normally leave for half 11, 12. And so we basically were around each other. She blurred the, tea, the music downstairs. I was muttering and things. And so I took Nathan upstairs and I decanted all the dog food we just bought because we have literally run out today. And, uh, yeah, you know, I did all the little bits and broke the cardboard down, took Nathan upstairs, turned my TV up way whack, and let Nathan have Fireman Sam blaring. I'll put a small clip here of how loud it was. Um, <laughs> cut to we go downstairs right before my annoyed face and she's still muttering about Nathan not eating and Nathan says he wants one of these little brioche things. Again, I'll leave a picture here for you guys. I don't care. He says he wants it, so I feed it him. Well, I take him, you know, and I, and Nathan gets upset because he's worried he's going to get told off. So I say, well, if mommy wants to shout and scream at someone, she wants to take it out and someone, she can take it out of me. Because I'm a little bit taller than my mom, you know, I, I'm bigger than mommy, I can take it take him upstairs and he loves my mom he's not terrified of my mom he just doesn't like getting told off uh and when my mom's in that mood she can tell him off and something that's not necessarily fair and she will always apologize and make up for it later but in the moment she doesn't realize she's doing it so we go upstairs and she's money and that pisses me off and i messaged my dad and was like hey look i wound them up because i had the audacity to say i don't feel good you know, the COVID jab's finally catching up with me. I feel nauseous and queasy and the idea of food makes me want to throw up. And, you know, and because I didn't automatically go, oh, mummy feels sick too, uh, which some of that is her own fault, but that's a whole separate thing. She's got Marty. Now, anyone who knows my parents knows that my mum will moan it and bitch at me, but she'll be the first one, if you're an outsider, to 
to be on your back about it. Now, my dad's the complete opposite. My dad will have a go at me, sure. And if he knows he's unfair, he'll come to me after the fact and apologise, whereas my mum never will. But my dad, anybody else, it doesn't matter who you are in our family or our friend group, if you want to come at me, you've got to get through him first. And my mother knows this, so I wanted to give my dad the heads up because I knew if I didn't and my mum said something, it was not going to end well. And it was probably going to end up with mum ringing me and being like, your dad said this, and I'd be like, yeah, but you know what my dad, you know what dad's like, he's protective. <sighs> he messaged me like, well, you are feeling unwell, you, you deserve a nap, you deserve a break, you're allowed to want to lay down. Because that's what I said to mum, I, I just feel queasy and yucky. And I just want to lay down. I, I you know, I, I'm getting a headache. That's all. It wasn't like I was. I want to lay down all day. I just want to lay down. But this was mother taking it how she wanted to take it, and I can't control how everyone takes what I say. And that's some of the things I've been addressing with therapy and meditation and everything is within my anxiety is that I can't control how somebody perceives what I'm saying. Cut to sort of right after I filmed that clip that you saw and she wants to go out again. Now I asked my mother when we went out the first time, do we need to go anywhere else? Because I knew with this roadway traffic, it was gonna be hell to get anywhere. We ended up going to our local Ikea estate. Back into the roadway traffic that I didn't need to be in. Because she didn't need to. Now don't get me wrong, we had sandwiches where we were out great and now I've got something in my stomach. So God forbid, knock on wood that I'm not, but God forbid I'm sick. There's something other than stomach acid coming up. But she really just annoyed me because it, it, with my mother, it's never you can just be sick or something can be wrong with you without her having to either jump on the bandwagon and having that same thing that she never had symptoms of before, particularly when it comes to me or my dad, or it's, oh, look at me, look at me, I have it worse, which yes, in the long run, she probably does. But in these short term situations, like and my anxiety and my depression that are an all time high, it's like, oh, just, and I'm not, I'm not having this conversation on, on YouTube just because I want to call my mother out or anything. It's just these videos and expressing myself is my outlet because there's only so much I can have this conversation with my dad and love my grandparents and we talk and I'm honest with them, but they're not here. And so talking about it two weeks, month, two months, six months down the line doesn't doesn't fix it doesn't make it any easier doesn't make it any better <sighs> to add on to all that drama the ongoing drama of nathan's school bus is still going on pretty much the school council transport lot have told nathan's school that we're taking him now this is fine and to be fair they have been paying me for the few months i've been taking him but it's a back pay situation so i pay out of pocket which in the short term it's frustrating because i have other things i have to pay for other than fuel to get my little brother to school which shouldn't be my responsibility anyway it should be my mom's but that's a whole separate conversation to then get back paid at the end of the month and usually the first week of the month so it's a bit like just so it looks like in this school year we will be doing the school run which again is fine, but it's annoying because if they don't get in contact with us by the 6th, I have to at least take him until they can get him either a taxi, which is a one-on-one, -on -one, two to two sort of situation, or a school, a different school bus placement. And at this point, I don't think either is gonna happen, which means I'll be taking him. Again, which is fine. If anything, actually, we've had a, Doing in the school run has been really good for me and Nathan. Nathan gets to school really calm. He's really happy. We have a little bit of me and him time. We have some rock out time. We He tends to have a breakfast snack. He has a big, like a medium sized breakfast. And then he has like a healthy breakfast on the go bar. 
and then he gets to school and he, he because he doesn't eat lunch at school at the moment for whatever reason we still don't know why he then has his two snacks he has a snack and I try and make that as healthy as possible in the car when I pick him up and then he has dinner so we've got all that drama going on and that just means that if that is the case I need to look at my finances and figure everything out which again is fine but it's a situation I didn't see myself being in three months ago and it's the fact that the council have obviously spoken to the school about it but not us because we will we've already said like look if that's the only option we'll do it but I you know you need to tell me you need to discuss our options with this so we can make the best decision for Nathan drama drama anyway I'm in PJs and I'm now gonna go chill and do I watch Harry Potter. Not watch Harry Potter, play Harry Potter for a little bit. Yeah. I'm gonna go and want to play some Harry Potter on my PlayStation because I'm in a Harry Potter mood now that I've had my rent and I will see you guys once I am um, editing. Good morning. I don't know if I say good morning. It's afternoon. I am managed to actually edit a whole vlog so hopefully that can go up. Well, if I edit it, I've just got to add all the little bits to it. Um, hopefully that can be uploaded for next Wednesday because I have, oh no, for Sunday because today's video is ready to go. So I need Sundays and hopefully this video will be ready to go up next Wednesday. Um, this, obviously, you're watching it, is all about the aftermath of my second COVID jab. My arm, where I got jabbed, still hurts, but I'm able to lift my arm up, which is always nice. I got poked in my right arm. But I had both my jabs in my left arm, as I have stitch on my right, so it was just easier. Um, I feel a little bit queasy, but I actually feel better once they've eaten a small amount, so I think I'm just going to eat little bits. I'm also drinking Lucozaid, which will hopefully help and my macbook is protesting having uh, final cut open again so i'm going to move from my macbook on my desk the situation to my bed with my macbook because clearly my computer is doing an fu moment so that's fine i'm gonna get comfy and cozy i do need to put makeup on and actually film an outro to the vlog i'm currently editing which you will have already seen and it's the first summer trip to uh, West Midlands Designer Outlet. I'll leave it linked up above and down below. I'll also leave the link to the West Midlands Designer Outlet down below also, as well as all the links to anything mentioned about COVID the covid jab how to book it if you haven't already as well as all the makeup etc that i wear i need to figure out what we're doing for dinner today because mum and nathan are coming back to dad's end and then i take them back i'm exhausted but i am actually feeling a bit better yesterday i said i don't feel great i slept <coughs> i had a little bit of food i was not sick thank god um and yeah so hopefully we are now at the end of me not feeling well because of the jab and the headache i think it's just a coincidence uh because after sleeping and keeping myself hydrated it's completely gone so i don't know if it was just a stress headache because i was getting frustrated with my mom and family in general well just everything in general or whether it was a vaccine induced headache. Um, I've had no COVID symptoms, I haven't had to isolate because of COVID and all has been well. So I will see you guys when I have another update, if I have another update. Hey guys, so I thought I would end the COVID vaccination video that you're watching here. It has been a week, two weeks. 
I don't know, since I got vaccinated and my arm where I got the vaccination is still a little bit achy but it's not too bad, more so when I'm touched. So if like Nathan really bumps it or my mother pokes at it, then it hurts. But otherwise I'm good. I've had no severe consequences. I had obviously that sickiness and being in the bathroom a lot and actually I was a little, I threw off a little bit but nowhere near as badly as I was expecting. The worst of it was the pain in the arm that did last a week. Yeah, this whole week. So we are one week post vaccination. I will leave all the information for the Pfizer that I had, but also the other vaccines down below. I am going to end this here and I will see you all next time in the next video. Bye guys.